Hi there, Dr. Gary here on the road. We sell dental practices nationwide. Well, today's topic is going to be buyer of a dental office fears he'll make, he'll make less money buying a practice now. Let's get into what the problem here is. As you know, we're in multiple states. We have 10 employees, two CPA accountants, and we are also uh, now open seven, actually it'll be 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. East Coast time. We work every day except Christmas and Easter. And uh, here to help you. It'll be 8 a.m. till 9 p.m. every day. So just give us a ring. You want to sell a practice, buy a practice, have some free consultation, give us a call. If you need a practice to be evaluated, we could do that also for you, make a value and appraisal of it. So we're here for you. Now, all the information you're about to hear is for uh, entertainment purposes only. It is not legal advice or business advice. If you're thinking about selling to a DSO, give us a ring because we work with them all the time. We know who the best ones are. We sell them to many of them. We don't work for them, but when we do bring a client in like yourself that's doing over 1.7, 1.8 million, minimum six operatories, and the doctor and associate willing to stay on, they're interested. A lot has changed with them. They're consolidating their requirements are less the or more. The, the wild offers that used to go out in 21 and 22 don't appear to be around anymore because due to high interest rates and interest rates just went up again. So call us. Now we work with the DSO. Generally, they always pay our commission. So there's no commission to you. Secondly, when you work with us, Nationwide Dental Practice Brokers.com, Healthcare Practice Sales, LLC, uh, we will also uh, reimburse your attorney fees based on criteria. We'll re reimburse your attorney fees upon successful uh, closing. So give us a ring about that and we can tell you about that. So what do we have today? So this buyer is whining because if he buys this office, and I realize he's pumped up or she's pumped up working for the, a large uh, corporate entity or private entity, making 250, 300, someone to make in a year. And they're gonna buy an office, they're only gonna net about 150, let's say. They say, well, well I'm gonna make $80,000 less, why should I buy the office? And this is a common complaint of all these guys. First of all, you can't compare W-2 or 1099 money income to uh, sole proprietor, LLC, whatever, uh, S-Corp money to, you can't compare them because there's ta legitimate tax write-offs on being a sole proprietor or LLC or whatever that you don't get as even if you are getting a 1099, which you really shouldn't get, but even if you're getting a 1099 to W-2, you'll never get the tax write-off. There's a 20% difference right there. So that $300,000 you're making could be really in reality about, uh, 240,000 let's say because you're missing all the tax write-offs as far as gross goes you're missing a lot and uh, that's number one thing number two growth you can't look at this practice today and look at it through a microscope you got to look at it from a satellite point of view I've had numerous doctors I think national average is a 20% increase over the first year 20% increase nationwide average you should be able to do that so Please be aware of that. It's just so, so important that you are aware of that, that you will do better. So don't look at the practice, what it's earning now, but rather look at it, what the potential is going to be. Because on a national average, dentists are always successful. They do exceedingly well. Uh, there's never a failure. 99.75% success rate. One of the biggest banks did something else. It's just... Oh, we gotta grab that. But you will do exceedingly well. Don't worry.